this wrong? There's sheet metal right here, so I can't put my cake, I can't drive a cable staple through it unless I punch a hole through it first. What part's your deal? I didn't pre-do it. Get out of this heat. It must be like a hundred and I don't know, twelve in here or something. You don't even have windows open. Why don't you have windows open? I do. Not on that side. The sun's coming in on this side. <sighs> So I got my little 30 amp uh, breaker box here, two circuits, getting it prepped on the bench because it's easier to work on here than where it's going to be. Got my two circuit breakers mounted in here, 20 and a 15. And I loosened up all the, the lugs and the screws in the bars ready for everything to go in. I had to mount the uh, the ground bar in here. They sold that separately. And I got the uh, connector for my main 30 amp cable coming in. And then I'm getting two, the two knockouts out of the bottom and getting the connector, connector mounted in there. So there's that.
Like, he's like... Get some water. Yes. Can Let's I get go you out? Jump in the... Let's go jump in the lake. Jump in the kiddie pool. Are you done being mad? No, we'll go jump in the lake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. It, yeah, I might... My head got a little overheated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when I came in here just a minute ago, his face was like completely red and he's like, Rah! and he's like throwing things. And I brought this. This is all wet. It's something we got in Israel and it's like super cool. But are you cooled down just a bit? Can, can I get you out of here? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Get out of here. Go to the lake. So this one should be interesting. I got this box prepared. There's eight cables connecting in this one, or I should say there will be eight. Uh, there's one outlet that can't go in yet. So that one will just add later. So I got all my cables cut to length and I'm just gonna start getting these stripped and prepped. Yellows go to the outlets, white to the lights. And I got the two feeders from the little breaker box coming in here. These three are the ones that go through the floor and underneath the bus to the other side. They do make tools for this that are safer than a utility knife. I'm just going to start matching up the wires one circuit at a time. Okay. Okay, so we'll start with those. I'm going to do the heavier wires first because then the lighter ones will be easier to fit around them. We'll end up putting all the grounds together because I only have one ground screw in the box. Okay. So there's those and those. Just sliced my finger on the edge of the metal box trying to jam wires down there. and So, a little tape to 
protect that edge. Protect me from the edge. I don't like it. So I'm not using my crimper on this one. I'm just gonna use pliers and smash this flat because I'm probably gonna be taking it off later. So it should be easier this way. Whites together. Okay. Think about this for a second. Make sure I got this right. Moment of uncertainty regarding the lights, so I had to take a second to look at that. But let's start by getting the, the outlets out of the way. These are pretty straightforward. Just all the blocks together. I'm just using the tip of the wire nut to make sure all my the tips of all my wires are even so that the wire nut grabs all of them okay Okay, I'm satisfied. Now we're ready to hook up the, to build our power cord that's coming up through the floor here to supply our power to our breaker box. I didn't find a weatherproof plug at the store yesterday, so I'm going to use this just to get things hooked up. We'll probably put a weatherproof plug on later. Just getting everything opened up, ready to go. It's just a three prong, 30 amp plug. Okay. There. So, white goes to silver, black goes to gold, obviously green goes to green.
kind of keeping myself a handle right here. And let's try, let's see, it's gonna have to go like that. So let's try that. So there's that. I'll trim off what I need to. Yeah, there are other styles of plugs. I'll probably end up replacing this with one that actually has two pieces of metal that clamp. That clamp that in. But I think this will be good for now. Okay, doing it this way seemed to help. Just hold the ends of the that multi-strand from fraying. Kind of help keep them under control. Some of that. Okay. Okay, I don't want to push that up as much as I can when I secure it because that cap just goes to there. I'll make sure it jackets all the way up inside. Right, final connections here. So there that is, and there's one thing you might notice that's kind of funny in there. Uh, I guess this box is designed for 240. I can't explain exactly how that works. But in my case, I only have one hot wire coming in through the cable, but we have a, two lugs, separate lug for each circuit. So from this one, I just put in a jumper to go back to this one to supply the power to both. Okay, so. I already talked about it in the video. Oh, you did? That's fine. Yeah. So you're done, though? But that's it. You're so done. everything's done enough to put power to it. Plug in uh, cool. some lights and test it. That's right. Just need to secure my. Cable and outside. Hang it on the outside. Okay, I'm coming. And, uh, before I go.